What was that? Oh man. Hey guys, uh, Matt the Greeter here. It's a beautiful morning, except that it's not morning, it's afternoon. Dogs and people everywhere. Dogs are on leashes, and people are on people are on social media leashes. <laughs> What am I supposed to do without my cell phone? That was a cute dog. What kind of dog was that? I was gonna look, but I, I you know, I, I try not to look at people when I'm riding. Uh, you know, I'm wearing, I got my beautiful, I love my Sidichi helmet. Thank you, Lord, for the warm weather. I mean, as much as I love my Schuberth helmet, this Sidichi is so comfortable, I just love it. it fits my Italian-shaped head, maybe. I don't know, I got Italian and German blood. And, uh, and go figure, my two most comfortable helmets, Sidichi from Italy and my Schuberth from Germany. Deutschland. Sprachen Sie Deutsch? <laughs> oh, any Beck fans out there? Uneventful days and uneventful nights. I got fixated on a Beck song for a while and uh, you know, I'm familiar with Loser. I'm, I was born in 1974. So I'm a loser. No, I'm just kidding. So, you know, his song Loser came out. That's the one that was all over the radio. And uh, it was really funny. And, uh, you know, so I, th I thought that's fine. Beck's cool. He's quirky. There was a rumor that he was one of the Hanson brothers. But, um, mm, bop, I don't think so. But, uh, it, but re you know, last year I heard a song of, of uh, Beck's and Uneventful Days. They're, it's such a fascinating song. And then I, I got addicted to that album for a while. Hyperspace or whatever the name of the album is and I uh, just I don't know why but I just couldn't stop listening to it and uh, what are we talking about Sprachen Sie Deutsch oh yeah so back to <laughs> let's yeah, anyway and action take two so <laughs> I was thinking about the uh, challenge that came out a little while ago about five things Five things you don't know about Fill in Motovlogger's name Five things you don't know about Matt the Greeter Okay uh, well, You know Some folks plan ahead <laughs> So perhaps I should have planned ahead I knew I was going to try to talk about this you, you would think that I would come up with some ideas Before actually rolling tape, right? <clears throat> Let's see what we can think up So Oh, alright, here's one uh, so these, uh, one of the things, thing number one that you may not know about me is that one time I laid on a bed of nails that my friend built, had another bed of nails inverted on top of me, so I was in like a nail sandwich, and then he put a cinder block on top of that whole mess, and then smashed it with a, uh, with a sledgehammer. So, <laughs> why? Well, I'm playing with a full deck. It's just cards from different games. I got some Uno cards up here. I got some regular cards. You know, I got I got a, a 10 hundred Vivid Kingdoms card slipped in there somewhere, one or two. But I saw a picture in a book. I was a, an aide in a public school in the town of West Bridgewater, Massachusetts, where I met some really amazing amazing people and a physics teacher I worked with uh, so I, I was I was leafing through a book while I should have been paying attention to my students I was helping well I, it ended up working out good in the long run because I saw a picture and I said I said hey man I'll protect his name I'll change it so I said Devin we'll call him Devin say Devin can we do this like I'll, I'll totally lay on this bed of nails and let you smash a, a cinder block on me do you think we can do this and uh, so Devin, who was, uh, he was an arm wrestling champion, like a kung fu guy. And uh, he, he loved being a bouncer when he was younger because he loved grabbing people and throwing them. You know, he's, he's a big, and he was absolutely multi-talented in every way. And he also happened to be a, 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 a teacher, a science teacher. So I said, Devin, can we do this? So he actually made the beds of nails but he didn't use a nail gun no no would an arm wrestling champion use a nail gun no he pounded them all by hand and to save money 
Well, here's where the physics lesson was really was really evident. Is to, so to save a little money, he pounded the nails in every square inch. So they are supposed to be every square centimeter. So you can imagine where I'm going with this. Every square centimeter. But he put them in every square inch. Just to save a little, which is totally fine. And sure enough, you know, I get down on the bed of nails and, and, and it, we invited a couple of different classes in at the same time. Because we weren't really sure. Physics tells us it will work. But human nature and human experience tells us that sometimes things go wrong and you, you, you find out why later. So in case it wasn't going to work, we, in, we packed a classroom and had a bunch of, bunch of students in and, uh, and it worked. <clears throat> yeah, I got a couple of little, uh, couple little dicey, dicey spots from a couple of nails. We had tried to file a couple of them down because they were standing up taller than the others <laughs> but we found that when we were filing them we were making them razor sharp so uh i wore a black tank top i didn't take my shirt all the way off i mean first of all we were in front of high school kids so i uh, no thank you uh, but i wore a black tank top just in case uh, i had a little more than a couple of nicks you know what i mean and uh, so it all worked out great so anyway <laughs> I, I, th I, en I encourage you to try this at home. <laughs> Take a look at a science book, find a picture, and go blow yourself up or do something like that. And it, oh, the laughs we'll have. <laughs> I would say, uh, if, if you have a really smart and talented friend uh, like I had back then, you know, then, then it's, it's an acceptable risk. So yeah, better nails, that's something you might not have known about me. There is a video of it, but it's on one of those little video camera um, tape things. And I don't know how to get it off of there on to, to, to show you guys. But if, if and, and also there's high school kids in the room. So there's got to be a way I can, I can show that. And uh, maybe I'll have to just give it to somebody and have them edit it for me. You know? So anyway, any, any takers out there, anybody. I can't watch it. I don't have a video camera that it fits in anymore. And, ooh, that's another way I could do it though. If I could. Well, anyway, forget it. That's one thing you don't know about me. Oh. Anyway, gee whiz, what else do you want to know about me? These are all like horrifying and, uh, and, uh, and, and potentially embarrassing things. This guy is turning, but is he really? I don't know. Um, oh boy, I'll tell you another thing. This, this one is embarrassing. Prepare your blush in advance. So I've been zapped by live wires a couple of times. Not overhead wires, but house wires. And uh, that stinks. I hate dealing with electricity like that. Uh, but the worst shock I ever got that wasn't from an actual, like, uh, wire blasting me it was from a banana. No, no, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Hold on. Where are you going? Let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain myself. So, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna go here, first of all. I guess I'll take you to, I'll take you there. Where we wanna go? I'll go down here. So anyway, uh, it was from a banana. So, uh, yes, uh, please, please allow me to explain. So I was in college, and my college, I was on the fourth floor of a very old building. What's up, dude? And it was extremely dry all the time. Really dry. And the bunk beds were made of metal. And you know, you just walk around and, and you you know you, you touch a doorknob, you get blasted, you, you touch your bunk, you get blasted. So and I, I hated electricity. I like had like a little minor PTSD from getting blasted so many times. But I don't know what gave me this idea. But I, we you know I came back from the cafeteria. And I, I, you know, I used to grab some fruit and ferret it away. I, I, you know, take it when I'm, what's up, dude? Well, you know, after I play basketball, I eat some fruit or whatever. And um, I had a banana in the peel. And I don't know why I did it. My college roommate, who sh shook his head at me more than a couple of times, without having to say a word, was just watching me. And I, I put the banana between my teeth, and I 
proceeded to scuff around the dorm room, around and around and around on this little rug. Scuff, 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 scuff. Scuff, 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 scuff. And I got near the bunk bed. Well, I didn't touch the bunk bed. I got in the vicinity and a bolt of lightning came absolutely blasting out into the banana and, and dispersed through all of the nerves in my gums. And the banana fell out and I was just like, ow, <laughs> what just happened to me? Absolutely the worst shock I ever got that wasn't from like a live wire. From a banana. And it's like moments like that that I'm like, I don't think I'm from here. <laughs> I don't know. Does anyone else feel that way? Well, this video has gone on too long already. And some of you need, need some, some recovery time. So I'm going to actually end it here. So those are two things you didn't know about Matt the Greeter. And, uh, and, and um, you know, you probably uh, think a little different of me now. I'm not sure. But, but anyway, there's that's, that's a couple of things. And um, I'm gonna just, just gonna let you think about that for a little while. And in the meantime, if, if you haven't done the challenge, I would love to hear, hello. I would love to hear, do you see them look at me by the way? Loud pipes don't save lives, but they do attract attention. And sometimes that saves a life. Um, yeah, so if, you, if you've never done the five things I don't know about you challenge, wait, give it a shot. I'd love to know some things about you guys that you maybe haven't shared in your videos before. Uh, anyway, uh, so in the meantime, been nice spending time on the bike with you and I will try to check in with you real soon I'm gonna shut up now and try to enjoy the enjoy the ride these bikes are still here I gotta see if they're free they are free oh my goodness I should tell my wife come on down in the car all right guys care about you and I'll check in with you real soon after I get through this intersection Bye.